Howdy everyone, this is Lock Nuts, and you're watching episode 16 of the Smallin' and Ballin' series on Furl. Hopefully you'll stick around to see what happens. Howdy, 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 how are you guys doing today? Oh my goodness, we are out here rocking and rolling, doing a little bit of canola harvesting. You betcha we are out here rocking and rolling and doing just a fabulous job. So glad that this is done. This is ready to go. It's good. Let's move on. Oh man, I need the cash. I need the cash bad. And this is going to be my, well, my meal ticket, I guess, is the best way to say it. This is going to be my meal ticket on busting over the edge, getting myself a little bit further down that rabbit hole, or I should say out of that rabbit hole. Definitely looking forward to the results on this one. Definitely looking forward. Just incredibly, incredibly excited to see this coming down. Uh, <laughs> I can't even imagine it. Um... Yeah, so it is what it is. It is what it is. Now, if you guys are noticing, I am still having a little bit of uh, issues here with uh, the screen performance of here. It's still a little jumpy. I, I kind of figured out a couple things were going on here. A couple things were um, my computer here. According to what I had everything set up for, everything's supposed to be updating my, you know, my uh, hardware, software. All that jazz for the computer. Video card supposed to be jacking itself up, getting ready to do the things it needs to do. Oops. And uh, it just it just was not. So I had a big update for it. Things aren't as bad as they were before. Uh, still a little shaky. Uh, after having a couple issues here, come to find out, uh, my PC is not running at optimum performance so a couple things will end up having to happen i'll have to do a little upgrade on the computer here and there and kind of go from there we'll see how everything keeps rocking and roll i'm still going to be jumping on here rock and getting these videos out uh doing map tours the whole nine yards still doing my streaming over on twitch it's just uh could be a little shaky at times could be a little bit of shaky shakiness at times um so with that being said Taking a look at this field that we're on right now, you can see it says it's got the weeds are growing in there. Ha! Ah, not even going to worry about that. We're going to go ahead and get this all mulched up. Does not say it needs to be cultivated, but I think I need to cultivate it because I don't think my cedar... No, my cedar's not a direct drill. Neither is the planter that we got. Um, now, I'm thinking what I'd like to do here is I'm thinking that I would actually like to plant sunflower seeds in this field. Now, the reason why I'm saying that is if we come on here and take a look at this, uh, right here, we take a look at sunflower seeds and canola. They're the exact same output. 500 sunflower, 500 canola, I should say input. And you get the exact same amount. 750 biodiesel, 250 pig food. So what I want to see, which of these two crops is going to be the higher yielding crop? Whichever one is going to end up being the highest yielding, that's the one I'm going to go with a little bit more often. So I'm going to use this as kind of like a little bit of a test. Now, I didn't actually see what I had in there at the time. Uh, so let's actually hop in here and we have to 6,278 liters. All right, so I'm going to write that down really quick. All right, perfect. Got that ready to rock. Got that ready to roll. Perfect. I got to love it. So like I said, I got that written down. We'll go ahead and see what ends up happening in the long term. Uh, what is going to end up being the best possible scenario that we got going forward here? I, I don't know. Uh, I am kind of curious because I'm not 100% sure myself on what is the uh, more profitable, higher yielding crop that's out there. 
generally, I would have to say, just by taking a look at prices here. If you take a look at prices, this is usually kind of how I judge a lot of this stuff. We're in, what month is it? We're in December right now. December, canola. Uh, it's kind of up near its highest point, so $1,300. Sunflower seeds, January or December, February. Its, it's highest point is going to be about $1,400. So just by going off of that, generally what I've noticed is that the crops that have the higher yields you usually end up getting a lower cost per thousand liters the ones that have a lower or i should say lower yield generally have a higher cost per thousand liters so just by going off of that i would have to say that we're probably going to end up getting more canola off that field than we will sunflower seeds but I still want to give it a shot. I want to see. I'm not entirely sold on what will end up happening here. Where do I dump this? Did I miss it? I must have missed it. Let's back this up a little bit more here. Maybe off to the side. Okay, I backed up too far. That was the issue. All right, so we'll dump that thing in there. We'll get this thing processing, and we will start. The ATM machine rocking and rolling. You betcha. I'm looking forward to more of this. Activate now. <laughs> oh man, only good times. Only, only good times here at this point. We got some more. Look at that. We already got biodiesel popping up. Son of a gun. Son of a gun. That and pig food. Uh, which I'm going to have to try and figure out something to do with the pig food because I actually tried loading it into this. Uh, by, by like t picking up loose and throwing it in loose, it did not work out very well. So what we'll probably end up having to do is get a the front loader down here, pick these up and actually put them in. Uh, I probably will take and just slide them all off to the side for the time being until everything's done processing and then take it over at once. At least that's kind of what I'm thinking is a good step forward. So we'll see what ends up happening but I'm, I'm thinking things will work out just fine. Ah, it's good. It's good to be back out here. Hey, taking just a little bit of time away. Uh, I, I Like I said, with, the, with the, my PC giving me problems and getting all screwed up, the frustrations were high. Didn't even want to, didn't even want to touch anything here with this. But uh, I think it's, it's good. I think we got a plan moving forward on what I have to do to kind of improve the PC over, over time here. But... Uh, I'm generally excited, or genuinely excited, on uh, what's going to be able to happen with all this stuff. Um, let's come over here like this, because I believe our other field down here... Yeah, it shouldn't be ready for a little bit yet, but I'm not seeing there's any weeds. It does not have the yield bonus on there, which is probably just because we did not mulch this field. If we would have own this i would have mulched it and we would have been able to go ahead and do something with it so it is what it is i'm excited for this to be done i'm excited for that stuff to be done it just downright excited oh man gotta love it gotta love it we got processes that we're doing we got things that we have to do to to make everything move forward to get ourselves a little extra cash and i am ready to rock and roll at the exact same time get your boots on we have work to do.
and back in the saddle to go ahead and finish things off spreading a little love or fertilizer depending on whatever it is that you want to call it son of a goodness gracious me oh man so we did good we did good we got all this stuff taken care of on the field as you guys were able to witness it we were able to go ahead and fertilize once we weeded no we didn't weed we cultivated everything we rolled everything picked up the stones got all that stuff rocking and rolling i feel pretty darn good um it was good to get this stuff taken care of it was a, a bit of a well i mean it's the thing we got going on right now uh during the time of all this stuff happening here i took a little bit of a second or two to see where we were with everything um our soy drink that we have over there the price is fine it's not bad but tomorrow the price is supposed to be better so we're gonna hold off and wait um I think I still got to do some of this here. I still got to do some of that. Um, so we're going to hold off and wait till tomorrow to get the, the soy drink sold off. Um, Diesel has done a darn good job of processing. We're actually going to go ahead and fill up on Diesel here. Very good. Get that taken care of. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll finish up on Diesel here. This stuff all got mulched. I forgot about that. We did mulch everything. So right now we're sitting at 100% fertilized and 100% yield bonus. And we have weeds growing. woo -hoo. <laughs> I think I'm going to wait until the weeds actually pop up. Uh, for me personally, it's a lot easier to be able to see what's going on and all all that jazz. All the little nonsense and, and what, what have you not. So... Um, I think it's just, it's just, it is what it is. It really is what it is. I figure I'd come and take everything and set it down over here real quick. And then later on, I'll take everything, put it away, clean things up. Uh, and it's just what it is. <laughs> it, it is what it is. Uh, so I'm going to save you guys a little bit of frame loss here for just a second. And ooh, I'm not going to smash into that. That's not what I want to do. I'm going to go ahead and grab this trailer here, and I'll meet you down by the diesel. So I think one of the things I'm going to end up doing here is... Uh, I, I talked about it uh, on one of the previous episodes. I, I can't tell you which one because I don't remember off the top of my head. But one of the previous episodes, I had uh, kind of posed the question. Where do we go from here when it comes to our biodiesel? What is the best way to move forward? And I think what we're going to go ahead and do is, well, for fuel for our vehicles, I think what we're going to go ahead and do is sell this stuff, the biodiesel. Because the biodiesel, we actually make more to sell it how do I say this? The price that I can sell this at is more expensive than how much I can buy it at. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to sell this, and I'm going to feel to fill up my gas tank that I have over there. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't know, I know it's not coming out right. It, it, I, I know that for a fact. It's just not coming out right. Does not sound well and what I was trying to get at. But that's kind of what I'm thinking. I, I don't know if it's the, the right way to go about doing it the wrong way. Not 100% sure. But I think that's how I want to go ahead and move forward. Because oops, it's a little, it is a little hard to move around back here. Um, ultimately, what we're doing here is we're doing a challenge. It's not necessarily trying to um, meet a bunch of requirements for a role play or anything like that uh it's, it's nothing overly fancy so that's kind of where we're going at or at least that's kind of how i'm thinking about a lot of this stuff is we we're trying to make money ultimately so making money is what we're going to end up trying to do and if that means we need to go ahead and sell this potential fuel yeah this potential fuel here in order to make a couple extra bucks, I think that's uh, I think that's going to have to be the route that we end up taking. I don't know how you guys feel about it. That's how I feel about it. Because like I said, this is a challenge. It's not story time. Story time? I don't know. Maybe we'll get a story time coming up here. I think, uh, I think people like the story time. So uh, that's probably what we'll end up seeing here eventually. 
But for the time being, we're rocking here with our challenge, trying to get stuff taken care of the absolute best we can. Um, and to be 100% honest with you guys, I think with you guys seeing like the frame loss or stuff like that, like I explained, PC is a little wonky right now. It needs a bit of an update, so I can't guarantee that we're going to continue forward with this series um, at full pace. Until we get, uh, or until I have the opportunity to go ahead and get uh, some of this stuff fixed. Uh, comment down below, let me know what do you guys think. You think that's the wrong move? Should I just go ahead and bite the bullet and say, you know, you know what, keep rocking and rolling. We want to see how this ends. Or are you guys thinking, you know what, maybe... Maybe quality, yeah, I, I see it. I see it. Maybe we should think about something else. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and I'll get this thing loaded up. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I'll go another layer. Yeah, I don't think I'll go another layer higher. I'll just go ahead and fill this up too high like that. And I'll probably meet you up at the shop just to kind of see where we're at with one load and kind of talk about what's left over here. So hang tight, guys. Let me get this all loaded up, and uh, I'll meet you up at the shop in a little bit. This is, uh, this is kind of crazy. We're getting ready to go ahead and sell off a whole bunch of our diesel. I'm uh, pretty stoked about that. And it begins to it begins to snow. It's it's like it's a a Christmas miracle. You can't ask for anything more than that. You really can't. So we'll go up here. We'll take and sell this stuff. And uh, like I said, I'm pretty stoked on how this is all going to turn out. We got this coming right here. We got our canola over there that should be ready relatively soon. Um, we're going to be able to make it back quite a bit of that cash. Oh my goodness, quite a bit of that cash that we had going ahead and borrow which is good now what am I going to do with this other extra half of, of money? that I, I don't know I'm not entirely sure off the top of my head uh, if you guys remember what I was saying before I'd like to take half of my diesel money here pay some stuff off um, and then the other half potentially use to buy some upgrades do a couple things like that I've looked in the shop, there's nothing on sale that I really, really want to sink my teeth into, so I'm not entirely sure what we're going to end up doing. I'm going to get out of this here so I make sure I pull in correctly uh, in a spot where this can actually all get in here and start selling all at once. So I'm, I'm pretty stoked about this. We should be able to make quite a load of cash off all this. And as you can see, we are just going to town. Oh, man. That's a great feeling. That really is a great feeling. Especially considering you think about all the canola that we had. We would have sold. We would have gotten... What? Uh, 1,500, 1,600,000... Or 1,500 per thousand liters? This is just so, so much more that we're getting out of this. It definitely makes it worth our while moving forward with everything that we're rocking and rolling with here. A couple little stragglers, couple little stragglers. Must not have got on there. Oh, it's so nice. Keep on coming, keep on coming. So, like I was saying, I, I'm going to take this load here. $25,000. Not too shabby at all. Not too shabby at all. I think uh, what my original estimates were going to end up being... what I say? I think I was going to say right around $100,000. I'm, I'm going to be a little off. <laughs> I'm going to be a little off. Now, we do have 14 barrels left back over there, so we're not ready as of yet to uh, really just cash in on all this stuff. We will go over there. We will load that back up. Um, I got $25,000 for this. Uh, 14. It's it's not going to be that much. I'm willing to bet we get about seven grand off of this next load. Uh, uh, we'll see. We'll see. I'm hoping for seven grand. That'd be great. 
not entirely sure what we will end up getting, but uh, I think seven grand would definitely make me feel warm and fuzzy on the inside. So we'll see what we end up getting, and we'll kind of plan our next step from there. So the good news here is that I'm getting way more for this than I had originally planned. 11,000, almost 12,000. That puts us at about $37,000 we got off of one field. So if we take that and we kind of use that as a yardstick, that's not too bad at all. That's not too bad at all. You got to figure with selling the pig food might I, I, I don't know how much we're going to get off that. I think I'm going to wait until after we process our next field before we sell all of that. That's my thought, at least. With that being said, we'll probably end up making with a total. Oof, I don't know. I'd say right around 40,000. I, I don't know. I'm throwing a number out there. 40,000 off of one field when I probably would have only made about 10. 12, 14, 14 at the very highest. That's not too shabby at all. I'll take that. As for what we're going to do with all of this, um, like I said, we made 37 here. We'll say 40. We'll say 40,000. Let's come on here like this. I'm just taking a look at some of this stuff, seeing when we're going to go ahead and sell some things. Um, no, right there. One, two, three, four. All right. So we paid off $20,000 of our loan. Not too shabby. That means we're sitting with $25,000 right now to kind of sit and play with. I could go ahead and take that money and put it all towards the loan. Interest rate is almost nothing. I'm not concerned about that one bit whatsoever. So it now it's just a matter of trying to figure out what we want to do with everything. How do we want to go about doing it? Do we want to start upgrading some of our tractors? Do we want to get more tractors? Do we want to get diff tra different tractors? How do we want to go about doing this? There's some plows maybe we can start looking at. Maybe there's some other things to do. I'm not sure. I really am just not sure on how I want to go about moving forward as of this moment here. Um, so what I'm probably going to end up doing here is thinking about this. Maybe we'll see it tomorrow. Maybe we'll see you later on today. There are a couple contracts that are kind of eating at me as a, a possibility to earn a couple extra bucks. I'm not too sure. Oh, man. I know tomorrow, though, we'll, we will be selling a lot of stuff. We will be selling all of our soy, drink, and possibly any of the moonshine that we have. Possibly. So we'll have to wait and see how that all plays out. I'm not sure we're going to do. One thing I do know for sure, our equipment is dirty after this day's worth of work. And it's time to get ourselves rocking and rolling and squeaky clean. Good morning, everyone, and here we are rocking and rolling on this beautiful, crisp, and cold January morning. You betcha we are out and about making a bunch of cash ola. Oh my gosh. We're talking snowballs and making it rain. Oh my goodness. I gotta love it. I gotta love it. You gotta love it too, I tell you what. Uh, so I did end up springing 300 bucks and upgrading this trailer so that we could get out here, we could rock, we could roll just slightly faster. So this bumps the total capacity up uh, about 9,000 liters, I think it is. So uh, already I've, I'm gonna end up saving several, several trips by doing this. Um, I've gone off the bat this morning, and I have sold off all the soy drink that I had. I have a little bit left in a trailer uh, that I was just letting it load up a little bit more as it slowly processes through. Uh, I've gone ahead, and I have sold off silage so far. 
Um, the soy, I got about six grand, and with the silage, so far I've made $32,261. So we'll go ahead and sell this, and I have just a hair left over up at the farm, so I'll probably go ahead and sell that off too. And let's see. All right, 7,286. We've just been slowly creeping up the dollar amount, so I probably could have waited a little bit longer the day before I started selling stuff, but it is what it is. And that puts us right around $40,000. Actually, I think it puts us just over $40,000, so that's not too shabby at all. Um, I don't remember what I predicted that we'd get off of all that silage we were making, but $40,000 for essentially... Uh, cutting the field over there once, uh, taking what hay we had, making that into silage, and then taking the straw that we had left over and making silage out of that. That's not too bad, I would say. I'd say we did pretty darn good off of that, and you know what? Let's go ahead and check. Nothing that we need. <laughs> okay, so nothing that we need, and that means we are coming back over here, and we are going to repay... All of it. Uh, we'll take back out to there because I think I may need to hire somebody. I'm not too sure. Uh, we'll we'll wait and see. Um, because we have one field of canola that's ready to rock and it's ready to roll, so that's good news. Uh, I did what I said. I was going to go ahead and wash up all the vehicles, everything that we had out. Everything's been washed, so that's good news right there. Um, I'm actually going to take this tractor and set it right here for just a second we'll ref yeah we'll refill that whatever's left can go in there that's fine um and then we'll come on over here now this field down here did have weeds in it so we got out we started rocking and rolling uh i actually had my helper out here and he missed some stuff so i'll have to come back and do a little bit of spot weeding which isn't the end of the world uh, if they can go ahead and if he can go ahead and do some of it that's not not bad. Uh, let's back this thing up. We'll finish this up. But like I said, we do have one field, uh, or I should say one more field that is ready to harvest, and it's one of the fields that we have canola in. So that means we're going to go ahead, get that, take that to the biodiesel production plant thingy, whatever the heck it is you want to call it, and we are going to make ourselves just a little bit more diesel because let's face it, the diesel makes us cash Ooh. gotta love it gotta love it um i do feel really good about um getting all that stuff paid down or at least paid down to where we're at right now it makes me feel as if we've made the right choice or i've made the right choice in in going forward with all of that we will obviously see long term if that's the right decision where the heck is this now it seems like he came out here and started weeding part of this field, but not all of it. Where are the... Oh, okay, I think I see the weeds starting to pick up right here. Okay, so let's drop this down. Do a little bit of weeding. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with that, why it stopped weeding in that one section. Oh, well, I'm not going to complain about it. But the way I see it is that now we've established that we can go ahead and make cash. Well, and it's not necessarily making cash, but, well, I'm just gonna call it making cash and I can't help it. That's what I'm gonna do. Making cash, we're making it rain, you betcha. Um, I feel like we could possibly branch out again here at some point. Now, as for how we need to go about doing that, I'm not 100% sure other than the fact that we're probably going to end up purchasing another field here very, very soon. Uh, I don't think it'll be today, but uh, it will be in the very, very near future. I'm just going to come over here so I can see uh, weeds-wise. Did I miss the weeds? Is there any left on there? Yes, it looks like there's a strip over here and there's a little strip back this way. So we'll just kind of pick this up back up and get the strip. I'm not sure exactly where it is, so we'll just... Go all the way back to the end um but like i said we have been able to go ahead and do that now i did say i was gonna go and sell the moonshine today but here's one thing that's very very odd about the moonshine i kind of like this 
I don't know. I want you guys to comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. But this is what I've seen with the moonshine. Uh, let's see. Where is the moonshine here? Here's the moonshine. You look at the price fluctuation. Now, I installed the moonshine right here. Right in October. And it's taking this full little loop here to see where everything is. Now, as you can see, it's all blank over here. So as time's going on, it's kind of filling in the chart as it goes. I think that's really, really cool. I like the idea of that. Comment down below. Let me know. Would you guys like to see more of that in FS22? Oh, what's that doing here? Or would you guys like to see it where it is an established thing? I don't know. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys have to say about that. I kind of like the idea of it filling in the chart for us and adjusting as time goes on to see what everything does. Uh, maybe have something set up in like the first year or something like that, but then after that, things kind of change and tweaked and all that jazz. I, I don't know. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. I think that does sound pretty darn slick. And you know what also sounds pretty darn slick? If you guys would go ahead and smash that like button because you're liking what you're seeing, liking what you're hearing, help the channel out and go ahead and hit that subscription. Holy cats, does it ever mean a lot? Hit that notification bell, have it turned on and set to all that way you know when this and other great videos are coming out. Oh my gosh, share this with somebody who likes snowballs and cash. You bet your snowballs and cash. Don't get that confused with tango and cash because it's not the same thing. Guys, like I said earlier and before, not sure what we're going to be seeing in the future here. I have been having quite a bit of issues with my PC. I'll keep on trying to do everything I can to get the content up. We may see a little break in here. But guys, until I catch you next time, Thanks for stopping by.